Hello. <clears throat> Good evening. My name is Chris Hawker. I am the CEO and founder of Trident Design, which is an invention development and launching company based here in Grandview Heights, though formerly in the short north right around the corner from Kaufman's. And I'm also the co-founder of Next Level, the Next Level joke earlier, anyway, uh, which is Next Level Columbus. We're a leadership training and development school. We run emotional intelligence leadership trainings. I see several of our graduates in the audience. And so I'm gonna to talk today briefly about breakthroughs that are preceded by breakdowns. So every breakthrough requires a breakdown in order for it to happen. And I've been an entrepreneur since I was a teenager. I had my first business, I had extremely supportive parents. I turned half my room into an aviary and I sold exotic birds that I was breeding when I was 13 years old. And very supportive. I was a nerdy kid and I started a company, developed an aquarium maintenance company. I started selling aquarium products in, when I was a teenager. And then I came to Ohio State, got my degree in comparative religion, and then started my invention company uh, called Trident Design. So basically, I was working on my own inventions, developing my own ideas, and bringing them out to market, mostly guitar accessories and aquarium gadgets. And then I had an idea for a product one day called the Power Squid. I brought one. Here it is, Power Squid. Some of you may have seen it around. It's a little power strip that's got a uh, little extension cords off it, solving the problem of the bulky transformer block plugs that our chargers used to have. So it cover up multiple outlets. This solved the problem. We sold, we licensed it. I licensed it to a company called Philips Electronics. They sold millions and millions and millions of them, thank God. And I was, this, this took me years to set up. So it had been my idea and I spent five years working on the product from the time I had the idea until it finally came to market. Five years where I was working on it basically full time, I raised capital from an angel investor, and I was all in on this product for many years. Then I finally got it out to market, and it was an instant success. In the first year, we sold like three, 400,000 of them. The next year, we sold over a million of them, and it was like psh, off the races. And as an independent inventor, I was like, I'm, I'm rich. This is it, I made it. Everything I ever set out to do, I've accomplished. And I had a 15-year contract with Philips, and I thought I could hang my hat on that, and I was not saving. I was spending, I was enjoying a very nice lifestyle uh, where I was getting a passive income, like thirty to $40,000 a month, passive income. It was amazing, and I had 15 years of this wealth to look forward to, except it actually turned into 18 months, because uh, two days, two days after I borrowed several hundred thousand dollars to buy out my angel investor. I got a call from Philip saying, actually, those checks that we said were in the mail, don't hold your breath. We've decided to cancel the product. And I was like, I'm dead. Like, that's it. I'm, like, I'm bankrupt. Like, I have not been, I was counting on this. I haven't, I've been spending money, not saving it. And that was 2008. And... I was like, I, what am I gonna do now? Because this took years to put into place. I had a coach at the time, a huge believer in the value of life coaching. I recommend everyone should have a coach, an ally in your corner. And what happened was my ally said, imagine a future where this turns out to be the best news you ever got. And so we did an exercise where I imagined that future and what that would possibly look like given the circumstances. And then we traced back in time the events that would have led to that moment. And I can honestly say with 100% sincerity that everything that we mapped out in that session is what came true. And so my company today, which I have you know, like a dozen employees and we're helping inventors all over the world, serving the community of inventors, is a result of that breakdown. So every breakdown that occurs seems like a tragedy in the end of your life, but if you're starting a business, count on breakdowns and see them as a possibility. There's a version of events where it becomes the best news you ever got, complete.